Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know I'm All City with AllCityLiveTV.com, and thank you for tuning in. Did you guys know that you're gonna have the ability to get a penthouse in NBA 2K22? That's right. After being homeless in NBA 2K21, you now have the ability to level up and get a penthouse in NBA 2K22. It's been confirmed by the executive producer of NBA 2K22 in an interview with Game Informer. Com. In this paragraph right here, it says NBA 2K22 will also introduce a new way to level up your my player and earn prizes via the neighborhood. Now, there's some information that we knew already, but one thing he says, this is the executive producer talking. One thing I will say, a little nugget for you guys is season modes and my season mode in my career really gives an opportunity for us to kind of change the archaic rep system and how it's worked for many years in the neighborhood and in the city last year we'll find out more about this in late august which in late august they're going to give us some more like gameplay actually so we could kind of see the gameplay in action now i'm going to scroll down to the penthouse information if you guys appreciate this type of content please consider dropping a like and also subscribing to the channel because we definitely going to keep the all city fam up to date on everything that has to do with nba 2k22 the executive producer goes on to say what we're doing this year is we really tore down the wall between the city and my career your my career takes place in the city you'll be using the new questing engine which a lot of us have heard about we've already heard tons about the new quest engine but he goes on to explain it in a little more depth you'll be using the new questing engine we made as part of your my career experience your house is going to start off really simple and as you play along in my career you your house becomes bigger and bigger until you get the penthouse in the sky. But the whole point is you're living in the city with tons of other people who are on their careers as well. You're just interacting with all these people pushing along your objective. Now, I wanted to talk about this because they're making a lot more references to leveling up as opposed to repping up. And as I just read, they're trying to get rid of the old archaic rep system, as they called it. It was an old system. They want to renew this system with a level up system. And there's going to be different ways to level up in the city. You're no longer going to have to play games or grind the park to rep up or how they say it is level up. They're trying to incorporate all of these different aspects of the game that they want to introduce in NBA 2K22, like the hip hop side quest and also the fashion side quest. So if you guys don't recall back in NBA 2K20, and they may even have it in NBA 2K21, but they're so rare to come by, those little icons for musicians that would come up, like they would have a mic over their head as they're walking around. This is probably what you're going to see or some type of badge by your player panel that says that you're a music mogul or you're a fashion icon things like that it's probably what we're gonna see as you level up in your my career doing these side quests around the city let me know what you guys think about this new level up system i think it could be a really cool idea especially if matchmaking functions well if people just want to play the game then they could just go into matchmaking and i hope they kind of make matchmaking 1v1 2v2 3v3 4v4 5v5 i hope they give those options so you're not limited out there if there's players out there that want a 1v1 go ahead and do it just go into the matchmaking building but the city is going to be for those that are kind of pursuing their my career and trying to progress or level up as they call it i would really love to hear what you guys think about this it sounds absolutely amazing i just hope they could kind of implement this well they did mention that these interactions with the npcs are going to happen Happen like in real time so people are worried that these interactions are actually gonna mess with the servers while they're trying to get part games in the rep system is gonna be done away with and it's gonna be a whole new level up system which a lot of people don't necessarily like but you kind of gotta expand your mind on what 2k's vision is right now they want to expand past the old ways of thinking where you had to grind for rep and the grind for rep is really taxing when 
asked if we would get an authored cinematic story like the past, Bonish had this to say. I don't know if I butchered his name, but he is the executive producer. The story of my career is its narrative of you, the my player that you create in your journey from wherever we start you to ultimately where you want to end up. That's different for many people. That's an NBA champion or that is making it to the NBA or that is making it to the Hall of Fame. There's so many ways you can choose but without giving too much away because i do want to talk about this a lot later that tearing down the wall of my career and the city is you will have these interactions these cinematics if you want to call it that in real time in the city as you're going about your story you're going to visit your agent's house you're going to go to the nike facility to have your negotiations and the environment there you're moving about your career in the city alongside many many other players doing the same thing so when you think about it in this way it sounds a lot more interesting it sounds more like an rpg type of environment and don't get it twisted i know a lot of people are like but we just want to play basketball this is why matchmaking is going to be super important and it needs to be implemented really well in nba 2k22 because if there's any conflict between the npc interactions and gameplay that's going to be a huge issue we cannot have these two aspects aspects of the game in conflict they need to flow whatever way we want to choose because it's the way they make it seem is it says that's an nba champion or that is making it to the nba so there's going to be some players out there that are leveled up that didn't even make it to the nba because they pursued side quests for like becoming a rapper or or becoming a rap mogul or a fashion icon so there's going to be so many different ways to level up and your progress i'm sure is going to be readily noticeable whatever route you take i hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative let me know in the comments section below what you think about all the information i share with you guys today it sounds hella interesting i like what they're doing i like the route they're taking but again i think matchmaking is going to be the foundation of making this work for those players that really want to get out there and just play the game of basketball because that's what this is at the end of the day it's a basketball game and they can't stray too far away from what's basketball if somebody wants to just get on and play ball then they need to have that readily available for them if you're new to the channel please consider dropping a like and also subscribing to the channel if you're looking for players to run with on nba 2k21 i go live every single day you can catch us on our live stream and consider joining our great gaming community on discord the link for discord is going to be in the description below it's also going to be the top bin comment on this video if you want to stay up to date on NBA 2K22 news. Join our Discord. Hope to see you there. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, y'all. Uh.